I'm currently with Alfred. We have a lot of work to get done, uh, say la vie wise, as well as personally, we're gonna be doing like a little work session. Jordan's gonna be joining us shortly, but right now we're gonna go get some lunch. While we go pick up food and whatnot, I'm going to do a little story time. Uh, I went to a Childish Gambino show two days ago, and I didn't really wanna spoil anything because it was such an amazing experience and people were still going. I wanted them to have the experience and not have the temptation of ruining it for themselves. So we're gonna do a quick little story time about the Childish Gambino Pharaoh show. We're currently en route to the Childish Gambino Pharaoh's concert out in Joshua Tree. Same with this guy. It's looking pretty good. Sabre's up makes a face. And Sabre's trying to date it. Uh, apparently, we're probably not going to be able to record anything. They're not allowing any sort of cameras into the venue. Uh, and from what we've seen on Twitter, they lock up your phone in some sort of capacity, so no video or photos or anything can be taken, but uh, we're gonna do our best. The Childish Gambino Pharaoh's Earth show was incredible it, absolutely incredible very minimal footage was taken over there the venue he chose at Joshua Tree was the perfect venue that he could have chosen it fit the complete vibe of what he was going for in the show he didn't want anybody to take pictures or videos when you're outside it was so dark pictures came in really dark and videos on cell phones came in even darker I heard prior to going that there's no phones allowed and there are no like they won't let you take in any sort of camera or audio recording equipment at all to the venue so I didn't even try to take this camera in as you get closer to the venue and you get towards the doors you know security pats you down as normal and there's this company called Yonder uh, that was there and what they did is they took your phone they put it in a pouch and they kind of like magnetically locked it so you weren't able to touch your phone at all throughout the entire concert. He's debuting a new album. Obviously, as an artist, you don't want your music to leak before the rest of the public hears it, but you're doing something special for your fans. Like, it's, it was understandable. After we got our phones put in the pouch, we got the pouch back, and then you walk in towards the entrance and there's a revolving door that you have to get through. Once you get into the revolving door, you walk about 10 feet through this like little tunnel thing and you make it to the dome. The dome was incredible. You walk in and there's video projections all over the ceiling and like it's a, obviously since it's a dome there's like a full 360 and when you walked in it looked like there were stars in the sky and they were twinkling right before the show started the stage actually started rising and the band members started to coming out as for the show itself and him debuting pharaohs it's music he's not just a rapper anymore he's an artist and I loved it. He had amazing energy. The visuals for each song was so on point and it was an incredible album. His album is coming out relatively soon, so make sure you cop that because it was it was an amazing experience. I loved every second of it and if you didn't go, I'm sure he's gonna do a tour after he releases the album. That is something you need to go to. He is he's an incredible artist on stage. His music is gonna be crazy. Uh, I had a ton of fun. Lunch time is over, now it's back to work. Hope you guys enjoyed story time. Yeah.